Hi, and welcome back to another Cajun Toy Review. And today, we are looking at Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse X-Men's Legion. And yeah, this is the last figure in the wave, guys. We get to build Colossus, and I'm super excited. This Colossus build a figure looks fantastic. It's been too long. Put it off, and it's time. So let's get into it and talk about Legion. And looking at this box, standard Marvel Legends box, but one of my favorite with the color scheme with that black and yellow just looks fantastic. We have our Legion figure in there and our Builder figure piece, some additional hands, and of course, as always, Apocalypse Loon in the background. Now, if you don't really know this character, if you just dabble in the MCU and maybe some comics, you probably have no idea who this guy is. And if so, I'm gonna try to tell you a little bit today about Legion because Legion is one of the most interesting and powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. So, uh, so who's this guy in a blue jumpsuit with some crazy hair? We'll get into it. Looking at the side of the box, we got a picture of Legion with Apocalypse in the background. Nothing else on this side, same picture. On the back, we got a shot of Legion looking pretty crazy there. Uh, with a little bit of read-up. The son of Charles Xavier, Legion gets his incredible mind from his legendary father and must balance unimaginable mutant powers with his mental illness. And here's the other figures in the wave. We have our Magneto, Rogue, Cyclops, Sabretooth, Shadowcat, Iceman, and finally our Legion, and all the figures to build this amazing Colossus. And that is where we are. So UPC on the bottom, uh, this figure is pretty easy to find right now, especially uh, I know uh, at the time of recording this, Target has clearanced most of these figures out. So if you're interested, get on it guys. So yeah, not much else to say. Let's go ahead and open up Legion and check it out. All right, so looking at our Legion, fi Legion figure, uh, Legion is known, as, his real name is David Charles Haler. Uh, he is the son of Charles Xavier, a uh, Professor X, um, which he didn't know he had a son somehow. You know, he has mutant power, he can, but he didn't know his uh, the lady hid the birth from him. But um, anyway. Uh, Legion came out in the New Mutants number 25 and way back in 1985 he was created by the legendary uh, Chris Claremont. Uh, he is an Omega level mutant. Uh, the most notable storyline is the Age of Apocalypse where he basically decided to travel back in time to kill Magneto uh, to basically thinking he was going to do good by that and accidentally killed his father causing the Age of Apocalypse storyline. But uh, yeah Legion uh, which is basically We Are Many. He has many countless personas inside of his mind um, and each one of those personas identities has different mutant abilities so he's kind of like Swiss army knife of uh, mutant characters so whatever you want him to do uh, he can pretty much do which uh, that's why he is so powerful and uh, such an interesting character in the hands of a good writer uh, just some of his abilities uh, is shape-shifting so he can turn into a werewolf uh, he can fly, flight, uh, telepathic, telekinesis, uh, teleportation, which is like different from Nightcrawler. He can teleport to like a person, so he can go like through space and stuff. Uh, pyrokinesis, you know, soul control. He's like Magneto. I mean, whatever, dude, he can make tacos out of his hands. I mean, whatever you want him to do, you just come up with a nose of persona and he can do it. So, yeah, regeneration, whatever. Yeah. So that's why he is considered so powerful. Um, cause yeah, like we are Legion, we are one and many, which is one of my favorite books. We are Legion, we are Bob, but anyway, that's a whole different story. So yeah, if you don't know who this character is and you're just looking at this figure, you're like, who's this dude with this crazy face and this crazy hair and the blue pajamas, he looks strange. But if you know who he is, he is a badass, super powerful character in the X-Men Marvel universe. So looking at the figure himself, like I said, kind of plain but um definitely some cool detail on him mine got this weird black line on his face right there i don't know what's going on with that but uh the head sculpt and the hair and stuff like that is fantastic um he does have this really kind of like i don't know like this face you want to punch a little bit he's got kind of that crazy look he's got that one big eye and then that one squat eye which is really neat painted um he does have that little kind of elvis crybaby kind of little flip curl going on up there um in the eyebrows but different having his head in different poses i mean in different positions um he does have a good range of expression and that's really cool um you know you can just kind of give him the, the crazy face or 
oh, you're in trouble now, face, or, you know, oh, yeah, 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 look at that, that's the punch face right there. But, um, the hair is really cool sculpted, it's, it's really pointy, and it's not even, which is really nice. Uh, it's got a lot of cool texture on it. His face, like, is all, the lines in his cheeks are really nice as well. Uh, just really good, it's just a crazy black line right there on his face, I have to try to see if I can clean that off. Um, really good definition on his neck. And, you know, I don't really ever talk about necks, but, man, that's a good-looking neck. Uh, the shirt, I mean, it's basically just uh, kind of a blue tunic kind of shirt. With no sleeves ripped off. But there is shading in it with this dark blue, which makes it look really good and kind of stand out. Um, and he's got some muscular plain arms. Nothing there. Now, he does come with additional hands. So, if you want... And just to go with uh, fisticuffs. You can pop in some fists. And have him go fight in the streets. Or you can give him a mutant power where he has super fist or something, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, he's got some nice muscles. He's pretty defined, you know, in good shape. Uh, I do like the sculpt on it a lot. Uh, this would be a really good figure to customize, uh, doing some head swaps with him and stuff. Uh, with this body, you can probably get some cool stuff going on. Um, but yeah, he's just got kind of like these baggy pants on. Which, the, like the dark blue in there as well. And kind of cuffs on the bottom. Kind of see it sticking out. So, overall, not a whole lot to say. I mean, like I said, it's just some crazy shoeless, sleeveless super mutant. So... Um, if you're in the know, and you know who he is, you probably want to get him, because he, he's a pretty cool character, and he's kind of fun to pose. Um, even though there's not a whole lot going on there, I think it's just that, that face, man. You can kind of get some cool stuff going on with him. Um, but yeah, and speaking of posing, let's take a look at his articulation. So, Legion can look up pretty good down we've already seen is actually nice and he has a really good range of motion full head rotation if you like Let's get the bicep swivel arm rotation and bicep swivel some guns double jointed elbows but they're not pinless he's got flex on rotation and flex on the wrist he's got a very visible ab crunch uh, Forward with that and back like this limbo champ of 1985 and split about this far and he can kick this high oops this high look at them toes he has a thigh cut double jointed knees also not pinless these are probably like some shang chi pants or something like that these kung fu pants but you can make him do this if you want you can make him Go toe to toe, kind of Indian style. Oops, not that. I cannot even say that anymore. I'm sorry. And flex on the foot. Peg holes on the bottom of his feet. If you want to put pegs in his bare feet, so you can. So, yeah. That's a quick review of Legion. I think he's a cool character. Uh, I think more has to do with I knew I have background in them, but if not, then I'd be like, well, who the hell is this guy? But uh, as for aesthetic wise, I think he's great. I think it's it's one of those things where less is more for him and it works. Uh, I think that head sculpt is the real selling point on it and I think it looks really good. So yeah, it's a fun figure. Uh, I've been having fun with it. So let me know, go, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and stuff like that. And if you like it, uh, also let me know and I'll do a quick video where we will build Colossus now that we have all the pieces exciting very exciting so yeah if you like this video please leave a like please check out our other content uh, shorts reviews blind bags whatever comes to mind we put on the channel uh, doing a drawing real soon for our 400 subscribers and an announcement for our 500 uh, thing coming up as well. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search for Cajun Toy Review. If you want to interact with me, you can find me on Instagram is the easiest way to get a hold of me. 
So uh, we'll be doing some of the retro card and Spider-Man figures next. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself.